Hello everyone, Railgun here again with a CVT game. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Hydralisks, but before that I want you to let you all know that I changed my video process a little bit. So you will now always be able to find the replay of my game directly down here in the description, as well as a link to my stream in case you want to watch me play live. I stream almost daily these days. So if you want to watch some live Railgun, feel free to check me out on Twitch. I'm Railgun there as well. However, let's get over to this game. I'm going for a link speed opener with queens. Used my links a little bit to pressure. And as I already mentioned, I want to talk a little bit about the Hydralisk dynamic in the CBT matchup today. I'm going for a tree base build with a lot of links and queens to defend. And my goal is to eventually go over to a queen link bailing composition and add in some hydralisks and we'll, we'll have a look at how that all works out. Right off the bat our Terran buddy is going for a quick, pretty pretty quick drop with 7 marines, could have been 8 but it's 7. Using a lot of queens for defense you can see that I'm going up to a total of, let's see, 5, wait no, 8 queens. So 5 for creep spread. And def defense and three for it and um, three for injecting. Trying to deal with his medivac, killing it if uh, if I can. Take care of some of his links as well. I have these overlords spread out to uh, so I know if he tries to drop me, or also to see if he tries to take the island expansion. However, he goes over to take this expansion, and I'm already up quite a bit. If you have a look at the production tab, I went for the carapace upgrade first, followed by the melee upgrade, and then I started my lair, and with the lair, my roach worn and my baneling nest. I won't really need the roach worn, the roach worn is not part of the part of the whole deal. I just kind of built it by accident. I'm now going up to six gases total. I got my fourth and my fifth on the way as well because I will need quite a bit of larva. Trying to trade as efficient as I can, but it's quite hard to trade against marines, especially if they are dropped down here in this narrow path. My creep spread is looking pretty good right now. My hydralisk then is on the way, almost done. And my tutu is on the way as well, a little bit behind his, but I was, a, I was sleeping just a little bit on the upgrades and that delays everything by a little bit. Now he's still on three bases. Um, not sure. I don't think he has. Eaten. He hasn't even started a fourth. I have these Ling Banelings to take care of his army, and I'm starting to produce my hydralisks, hydralisks right now. And we will see how the hydralisks fare and what the problem of the hydralisks are in this game. He's going for some more drops. Dealing with drops can be quite hard. I didn't see, notice that he went uh, along the top. Uh, path right there, so I lost quite a bit of units right there. Then again, the drop down here it landed as well, and I'm trying to clean that one up. But two two ling, uh, two two marines were, are quite good against one one links, as I was a little bit behind on the upgrades, and this definitely got him ahead in the game already. The big problem that Hydralisks face, however, are these units that he's building right now. Liberators are quite hard to deal with for Hydralisks, and we will see why exactly. I'm making a Lurker then right now as well, because I kind of wanted to use Lurkers and Hydralisks against um, this Terran. So I continue to spread creep, I continue to try and take as good fights as I can, but fighting off creep, my Banings all just evaporate because I do not have enough links. So I'm a little bit low on the link count right now. A lot of Hydralisks and Queens. Drone wise I'm up at 76 workers so that's more than good. Trying to take um, decent fights where possible. He's going for drops and the drops are going to do a lot of damage to me. Just as I go in for the attack he's also attacking me on the complete other side of the map. Doing a lot of damage to me. Saving his tanks while the Bio is doing a lot of damage. Now, until now, the Hydralisks did do a pretty good job. They cleaned up his um, Bio uni army quite nicely, but the real threat, threat, where are they? Here they are. 
the two liberators have landed and will begin their reign of terror shortly. So I'm spreading more creep. Creep is uh, really good, as we all know. Taking more gas because I need more gas right now. Morphing my lurkers. Lurkers are good units, so why not have a couple? Put the lurker there so he has to scan. Pay a little bit of attention to his drop. And the liberators have landed, and liberators are going to absolutely tear me apart. Let's see, I'm burrowing my lurkers right here, trying to deal with the drop down here. He scanned, so he managed to take out the lurker, but couldn't really do too much else. The lurker was quite effective at defending, again, uh, defending that drop. His liberator tank army is pushing closer. I go in with my lurkers, but the liberators quickly kill those. Then my my army is starting to get smaller. I try to kill off all his medivacs so I can actually kill the liberators with my corruptors. But the liberators, I believe, can actually one-shot my hydralisks. I'm not quite sure. They do a lot of damage to them. We'll have to see. Now, he keeps on pushing into me with his liberators, doing more and more damage. I'm trying to snipe a couple. Right here we see it, one hydralisk after the other falls, one shot after the other by the liberator. So every liberator shot kills off one of my hydralisks, and I can simply not keep up with this. Especially since I also have to deal with all these drops on the complete other half of the map, while I can barely manage to hold on right here. I built these corruptors because I figured I need something to deal with the liberators. And what I decided on was um, corruptors. He's already way up in supply, as you can tell. He built vikings to help protect his liberators against my vikings. Then he drops me right here. Yet again, another devastating drop taking out my drones incredibly quickly. And I should kill off one medivac and an empty medivac flies on home. To have ultralisks out right now, but it's simply not enough what I have. He's also building ravens. Presumably for the PDD, the point defense drone, to help nullify the damage of my hydras. And I take a horrible fight right here, trying to attack down this path, but all my hydralisks melt immediately and I have to chi chi out. Let's have another quick look at how the hydralisks fared against the liberators right here. So as you can see, the liberators shoot at the hydralisks and one hydralisk one hydralisk dies with every shot of a liberator. And since the liberators focus the hydralisks, they do absolutely nothing and all get destroyed in a couple of seconds. And that is why we should not use hydralisks against Terran unless we can somehow take care of the liberators because hydralisks are pretty good against bio, against tanks. But they are absolutely horrible against Liberator. Thank you all for watching. I hope you check out my stream as well. I um, can show you another game tomorrow. Where I talk about the Hydralisks against Terran where they actually work. For now, that's it for how to not play Hydralisks today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!